Hey guys, welcome to the homestead. So today, uh, I wanted to, I wanted to talk about something serious. Um, where I live in the Ozarks, there is a growing problem called chronic wasting disease, or CWD, and it's found in deer, and a lot of deer are being affected by it. Um, we really, because of the overregulation of hunting standards and hunting. Um, regulations, we have an abundance of deer because not a lot of people are hunting anymore these days or less people are hunting than used to be back in the day. Everyone used to hunt, uh, you know, when I was a kid. Uh, in fact, you know, they would basically, during hunting season, I mean, they would almost close schools and churches uh, because everyone was gone anyway. They were out hunting. And um, especially the first weekend of hunting season, everyone, everything was closed. And so, um, Except maybe the gun store, <laughs> I mean, but and 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 gas stations where you could get ice—that was it. But today you have less people hunting, and we have a gigantic over deer overpopulation issue, and this chronic wasting disease is growing. And so, I have no—you know—I've I've researched the topic. I don't want to tell you I haven't researched it. I have researched. I have read numerous papers, uh, probably about a, ha quarter, a half a dozen papers from different scientists, different journals on why this is being caused, how it's being caused, where it's coming from, how do we prevent the spread of it, you know, things like that. And so, um, but I'm not going to present any of that evidence today to you because number one, a lot of the sources are in disagreement with each other. They're just, they're in disagreement about why chronic wasting disease is, is spreading, you know, how do we prevent it? Um, you know, how it got started to begin with all these things, they're, they're in disagreement with one another. So if I present somebody's evidence, someone's going to, some evidence, someone's going to disagree with it. I hope that makes sense. Instead, I want to present to you just a basic argument that I think could be causing chronic wasting disease and how we can prevent it. All right. So I'm a sheep farmer, okay? I have sheep, okay? And I have had goats on two different occasions. I remember years ago, um, I was, uh, we had some of our goats in an area, this is before we moved to the homestead here where I live now, uh, we had some goats in an area and uh, somebody drove by and came over, we were talking with them and he looked at our goats inside of our goat pen and he says, boy, I bet you guys have worms. And I'm like, yeah, we do. How'd you know? He's like, simple, because your feed is on the ground. You're, hey, you're putting their food on the ground. And if you do that for goats or sheep, they're going to pick, you have a better chance of picking up worms um, off the ground, different parasites, uh, barber pole worms, things like that. And he was right. He was 100% correct. And so we built a feeder. And ever since then, I have tried my best. You know, I've learned, you know, and I, as I did more research on owning sheep and the best ways to keep livestock like that. Uh, one of the, I mean, you go through the rules for a, someone who's new to livestock, new to sheep or goats. One of the first things you'll find on the list online of rules is to keep their feed off the ground. Keep their food source off of the ground. Put it in a, in a, in a, in a trough or something. Build some kind of container to keep your food off the ground, their food off the ground. Um, and the reason is for that is because of parasites, different things that can get into them and make them sick. Okay, different, different, all kinds of different things. So deer are ruminants, just like a sheep and a goat is, okay? And they, have, they share a lot of similarities. I'm just, I'm just going to throw this out there and, and let you guys think about it. There's an entire industry in the, hunting, in the hunting world that is centered around bringing in deer and luring deer in for hunting, for hunters. You have deer cane, you have all kinds of feeds and, and, and meals and, and all kinds of different products that are geared to putting food on the ground for the deer. The problem with that is they're eating food on the ground. Okay, it's the same thing with the sheep and the goats. Okay, now I understand normally deer get their food off the ground anyway. Acorns are there sitting on the ground. But see, most of the products that are geared for deer are things like salt blocks and mineral blocks and different food blocks that they will root in the dirt to get more of. See, if you put a salt block in a mineral block, mineral salt block in, in the, on the ground for deer and they get used to coming into that, they'll still be coming into it a year later when it's gone. That mineral block has long been gone. It's long been licked and eaten up by, by the deer. And now there's a gigantic hole in the ground because the salt from the rain has seeped into the soil and it still tastes salty. And so the deer eat it. They're eating dirt, okay, because that, that saltiness has soaked down into the soil 
and they're eating the dirt and they're eating whatever else, other microbes and diseases and germs that are in that dirt. See, dirt is just basically dead material. It's waste products, it's decayed trees and leaves and everything else, and they're eating that. And so you have a gigantic issue, or a, a gigantic possibility that whatever is causing this disease is coming from the ground. And a lot of the research that I saw actually supports that. It's coming somehow from the ground. Well, could it be because you have this gigantic industry that is focused on putting deer attractant on the ground? I mean, can you see possibly a connection here? Now, what's the solution? Uh, it's going to be a tough one because how are you going to con convince a billion-dollar industry? All of these products that are sold in Walmarts, they're sold in you know, Bass Pro and all of the hunting stores and fishing stores, how are you going to convince an entire industry, multi-billion dollar industry probably, to you know, withdraw their products and rethink their products so that, that you're keeping the, their, those attractants off the ground? You know, I remember when I first moved here, I put a salt block out. It was a mineral salt block out there on one of my fields, and that's where the deer came in. And you know, after you know, a couple of years, there was this gigantic hole there because they had dug down and ate all the dirt that was underneath that salt block. And, and once I started learning more about chronic wasting disease and CWD, um, I just, I said, you know, it makes sense because I have sheep. And the number one rule you have with sheep is keep their food off the ground. So I think this could be um, the reason. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, okay? I'm just a regular Joe Schmo with a beard on YouTube who's looking at things and just saying, okay, common sense here. We're putting all this food and attracted on the ground and all the deer are getting sick. Number one, they're overpopulated, but number two, a lot of the attractants we're putting out for the deer are on the ground, and they're eating it, and they're eating the dirt that goes along with it. You know, you put some of this other feed that's out there, they have to eat around, root around, eat the dirt. It's not like an acorn they can just pick off the, off the ground and eat it, okay? That's not infected with anything. It's not, they're not eating the dirt with that acorn. They're picking it up with their lips, and they're just chewing it and breaking open the shell to get the acorn. That's what they're doing. It's not like it's a persimmon that fell off the off the tree and it's just fall, laying there on the grass or on on the ground or on the leaves. Okay, they're eating they're eating the dirt when it comes to the salt blocks, mineral blocks, deer cane, all this other stuff that's out there. It keeps them coming back for more. They're eating the dirt and whatever organisms or germs that are inside that dirt with it. Does this not make sense? I don't think you're going to get an entire industry to pull their stuff off the shelves because they're, I mean, unless some kind of law is passed, unless some kind of overwhelming scientific evidence comes out, because here's the deal. All these scientific studies, science, science doesn't do studies. You know, there's no, there's no living that people are, the science does studies because they're funded. Okay. Who's funding them? Because if you do have one study that comes out and it's funded by some anti-gun group, you know, the deer industry is just going to fund another scientific study that counters everything that they just came out with. And then it's going to be up in the air. What's the reality? I think the deer are getting sick because of all the products we're putting on the ground. They're a ruminant, just like a sheep and a goat. And if people, you talk to people who own sheep and goats, they will tell you the number one rule of owning sheep and goats is to keep their food off the ground. We'll see what happens. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Again, I'm nobody. I don't have any control over anything, but I'm putting it out there on YouTube to see what people think, and um, you know, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. You know, tell me I'm wrong. Leave a comment below. Maybe I'm right. Maybe this is a good idea. Maybe we, you know, awareness over the next few years as we deal with chronic wasting disease, and it really takes a toll on the population. And maybe, you know, because there is a threat of this disease, no one knows yet of passing over to humans, that we get serious about this, uh, because people aren't going to stop hunting. And so, you know, is, how is the disease, can the disease spread and be detrimental to humans? I don't know. You know, it's all up in the air at this point. There's not a lot of research been done yet. But I think um, just, my, just my opinion, you know, who owns a homestead, who has some land, who has some livestock, that this is probably being caused by the amount of products we're putting on the ground for the deer herd in America. All right, we'll leave it at that. See you next time on the homestead.